raining so hard in the morning and now the sky is a lot prettier I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Concealer I really love the packaging of this Now I'm ready to start my day. I have my coffee here, almost finished. Yeah, I'm gonna do an illustration today. Let's get started. Yesterday I started vlogging and I don't remember where <laughs> I finished vlogging I think I was doing an illustration but then I started working and then I had a meeting My last meeting finished at midnight which pretty exhausting I have a client that is having this event so we just have a, a brief meeting and I'm gonna do a portrait illustration today You saw on my last vlog I added some illustrations on my Society6 account Now I need to just advertise it I'm gonna try Pinterest just because I feel like people go there to find inspiration So I thought I would draw this image as a reference I love Sarah Faber, I love her art I really love this picture, her outfit so let's start so I thought I would share how I use Procreate I have already the canvas size that I use which is the IG portrait size I double the numbers just so I can have a very good quality illustration if I have to zoom in or if I have to print on something I don't lose quality Unfortunately, Procreate has a limited amount of layers that you can use depending on how big the Canva size is and you can actually crop or resize and I recommend doing that before you start your illustration um, Canva's information I mentioned so yeah, that's the pixel size that I use and the DPI I use always at 300 so again if I have to print on something I have a good quality illustration I'm gonna put the photo reference mall on the corner so you can have it as a reference uh, I do use this as a reference to know like how the hair is falling um, shadows and highlights and the pose brush that I like to use for the sketching but I actually use this almost for everything because I love the texture so I love the texture and how it flows it's a 2b pencil grainy one I'm gonna leave in the link in the description I believe it is from Sarah Faber actually for everything I create a new layer do not forget that this is so important because you want to have flexibility with your drawing if you don't know I do have a tutorial of how I draw faces I'm gonna link here so you can actually watch it if you want for right now you don't want to focus on details so I'm gonna I always start with a round shape that's the round shape and now I need lines to help me how I draw the other parts a line to guide me where I should draw the um, eyes and then you can see here it's kind of like a vertical line um, so that's what we want to do with our drawing <laughs>
sketch layer and I'm gonna do another clear sketch. So for each part that I'm coloring, I'm going to create a new layer under the sketch layer. To do the blush, which is my favorite part, I create a new layer on top of the face um, layer and then I actually do a clipping mask so i'm gonna choose like a bright pink color and i kind of test it before and the brush that i like to use is either bonobo chalk or the to be compressed Okay, so I did the illustration. I also filmed another reel for Instagram. And so I do need to finish editing videos for a client. I need to start brainstorming graphic ideas for a client. And I need to brainstorm idea for my ideas for my YouTube channel. And then I have a meeting at, but I forgot to put it here at nine. Do you know how to take care of this flower? Because I don't. <laughs> but it's so pretty. Um. Still here editing videos for a client. It's already dark outside, so I do need to speed up, finish everything. Wednesday. Yesterday I finished working so late so had my coffee here. I want to tell you guys what tools I use to do to edit all the content, to plan everything, organize and I can actually film a video showing kind of my workflow, how I do all of that. So to plan out and organize the content calendar, I use Trello and Google Sheets. So basically you can create a template. Uh, I normally create a monthly template and then I fill in with all the weeks of the months, all days of the month. And then I try to plan out a whole month in advance. So I have the first week, first post, what caption I'm gonna I'm gonna write on the post so I can visually see everything and then to edit videos I mostly use Final Cut but when I have to put subtitles on a video on a reel I use Premiere because I find it easier he can recognize the text and transcribe all the sequence so it it's so helpful because then I can just 
I don't know, correct any er errors that might have. But yeah, I use Premiere to that. The apps I love the most is captions because you can actually just put captions automatically on a video. Another app that I like to edit my videos and add some filter is Peza app. There are some free filters, I believe, but I have the paid version just because I use it almost every day for everything. I like the video's effects that it has. And then to cut out videos, like make some edits, I use InShot. So basically first I use InShot to just trim videos, add music, whatever I have to do, if it's like a very easy reel. Okay, I cut it out and now I have to do the voice over. And you can actually do that on the app if you go to you go into music and then you do record and then it gives you time so you can start your voiceover i don't know if you guys do overwhelmed i have to do so many little things throughout my week and today i'm feeling very overwhelmed even though like i write it down on my planner everything i have to do sometimes i just don't know where to start just because everything is so important clients things but my personal stuff sometimes i like procrastinate just because i feel like it's not important but that's what i'm trying to build like my personal brand and it's so important but i feel so overwhelmed because i have so many things to do that's a life wherein you have to balance every single job you get overwhelmed and sometimes your personal stuff like from your personal brand you put it in the back list but that's not good currently making my content calendar and just brain dumping everything um, like YouTube video ideas, um, how's the status, what tag it is, what's the deadline um, and what type of content that is and I'll try to follow that uh, this month so yeah if you have any suggestions, please write down on the comments. It's Friday, no makeup, me. Today I have to leave to Tuscany because my boyfriend is from Tuscany. He lives in Rome now, but when we can, we go there to visit his family. It's his grandma's birthday, so we are going there and then come back on Saturday. So it's gonna be like a very quick trip. I have to organize my room because I always pile up clothes. Bad habit, but yeah. Okay, now this vlog was a little bit random, but I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here because in a minute I have to get ready because I'm leaving for Tuscany. I was telling you about my budget on Instagram and some people want me to do a tutorial, so I'm gonna work on that too. Slowly, I'm gonna learn how to properly film a vlog. It's just like a running test for me just because it's like a new thing so i don't know also what you guys would like to see here on my day sometimes i'm like i'm not gonna film this because it's boring but then maybe it's useful i don't know so yeah if you're still here wow it was a lot of rambling but yeah see you on the next video follow me on instagram so you don't learn you don't miss any tips and real-time content there check out other videos and i'll see you soon